Does like attract like or do opposites attract? Whichever side you're on, who you attract can reveal a lot about your personality. Perhaps you pull in a lot of emotionally troubled friends or end up in relationships with manipulative partners. These individuals found their way into your life for a reason. Something about you drew them in. And just as who you're attracted to says a lot about you, examining who is attracted to you might provide insights into who you are. So let's explore. Emotionally troubled drama queens. Are you often the go-to person for friends dealing with drama or emotional struggles? It's like you're their personal emotional support hotline when they're in a tough spot. They know they can rely on you for comfort. Well, there might be a reason for this. Your seemingly innate ability to create a safe space for others comes from your patience, compassion, kindness, and willingness to listen to others. Maybe it's because you've been through tough times yourself. So now you can empathize with what they're going through. But constantly being surrounded by drama can be exhausting and leave you feeling overwhelmed and wondering if you're capable of handling everyone else's problems. In times like these, don't forget to be kind to yourself as well and set some healthy boundaries. People in need of saving. Like Superman, you might be the type who's always coming to the rescue. Whether it's dropping everything last minute to help a distressed partner or lending money to friends, even when you're also short on cash, your generous nature means you're always ready to lend a helping hand, no questions asked. And it's this tendency that draws in people who are somehow always in need of saving. But in the process of constantly saving others, you may find yourself sacrificing your own well-being. This behavior could be a sign of rescuer syndrome where you prioritize others' needs above your own because of a deep-seated need to help and fix everyone's problems. While your generosity is truly amazing, remember to set boundaries and prioritize self-care. You need it too. People who want to help you. On the other hand, you might be the one who attracts rescuers. Do people you meet often want to lend a helping hand? No matter if it's offering to pay for your coffee, sharing their class notes, or being the first one to visit you when you're sick. There's a pattern of people wanting to support you. After all, people are attracted to those who are willing to open up and who are not afraid to show vulnerability or to express gratitude. You create an environment where people feel comfortable to offer help and support and feel truly appreciated. Emotionally unavailable and hot and cold partners. Do you often find yourself in relationships with partners who struggle with commitment or keeping things steady? With them, you're never quite sure where you stand. You might question if you're asking for too much or if you're just unlucky in love. However, this pattern might be more than just bad luck. It could be linked to attachment styles, the way you connect with others based on past experiences. Partners who are emotionally unavailable likely have an avoidant attachment style where they prioritize independence and feel uncomfortable with intimacy. On the other hand, if you crave closeness but fear abandonment and seek reassurance, you may have an anxious attachment style. These opposing styles tend to attract each other by default. The avoidant partner may find validation in your need for reassurance as it reinforces their independence. But as time goes on, your opposing attachments lead to a hot and cold dynamic. Understanding your attachment style could help you break free from these roller coaster relationships. You deserve safe and stable love. Manipulators, controllers, and abusers. Have you ever felt trapped in relationships where every decision you made was scrutinized and your sense of self was fading away? It's not uncommon for some to attract manipulative and controlling partners. This pattern may be linked to having low self-esteem and a lack of assertiveness, traits that abusers often exploit. 
If you struggle to set boundaries or to say no, manipulators may recognize this vulnerability and use it against you. But remember, it is not your fault. Perhaps you were conditioned to prioritize others' needs over your own, which makes you tolerate harmful behaviors. But over time, these toxic dynamics can take a toll on your confidence and leave you feeling powerless. Know that help is available and you can break free from these patterns. We hope that this video helped you gain a closer look within yourself. If you feel like you just can't seem to form meaningful relationships, try finding a pattern in people who are drawn to you. This pattern will tell you which strengths to nourish and which weaknesses to gently address. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and comment your thoughts. Take care.